Alrighty guys, so here literally 10 minutes ago we have gotten the new Arc Renegantha spotlight. So let's actually go take this thing a look. You're gonna get just zoomed in and go right for it. They legit just said to that man, nah, your Rex is mine, right at the freaking end. Okay, uh, let's go back here. Let's... We got the Dacia here. This is what I'm looking for. Like, just that flight. Sounds like a helicopter coming in. I ain't gonna lie. Just a helicopter coming in. Um, that shooting, though. I'm wondering what that is. Like, it looks like it's doing, it's doing something here to the, the tribe. A hundred percent, it does something here to the trike, right? It's like, after a couple shots, boom, trike has an effect on it. Like, the Reaper Queen, like how she glows red when she's ready to mate. And then, pow, you get stung. And then, I'm guessing that right there is how they breed and their taming method. Okay? So, they're probably like the Deinoticus or the Reaper Queen. Probably 100% more like the Reapers, all right? I, I should not even, like, it's a Deinoticus Reaper mix, most likely. Where the only way you can get them is by, again, hatching them. But you have to go out and get a creature implanted with the embryo. So, then, the baby, that, I'm, I'm, that's gotta be the baby, all right? And it is freaking huge. That is bigger than a Giga baby. All right, is that like it fresh out as well? That's, I just have thrown back. Like, I mean, we got it. Also, hold up here. It, are they, is this also like that? Why is that so round? Are we getting new round structures or did somebody honestly go in and just made that? Like, honestly, Props to whoever did this. I don't have the patience to go through and make a perfect circle like that. But if this is like a new foundation piece, like, oh yeah, I'm definitely down for like massive foundation blocks. But like looking at this back one, I think it's just a really talented builder. Because this is basically what my talent is with like snapping, like, well, clipping uh, structures in. But like, yeah, whoever did this, that they're like, they are patient. That is a perfect circle. But anyways, back to the back to the spotlight. So is this thing fresh out? Oh my god, it is big when it comes out. Also, that is very vile. Alright, like it's just boom, like pops right on out. Ooh, got a nice. Oh, and then there's even after spray. Ooh, that's gross gross oh <laughs> they're wearing gloves oh my god i just realized look at how these guys are dressed up that one is dressed up the guy on the left is dressed up like a nurse the guy on the right is dressed up like the doctor but he has a gas gas mask and yellow gloves on which have ma which makes me think more of like the was it post-apocalyptic mad scientist kind of thing uh, but then we got them walking on water, and then they clearly get a fly. 
But also, I did notice this the first time around, that one in the back is carrying something. And then we get there nice and dive. Um, I'm thinking... I don't... I'm trying to think of what map this is as well that they're doing the spotlight on. I want to say it's Lost Island. Yeah, that's Lost Island. This one right here, that clip is from Lost Island. Um... This one might as well be might be from Lost Island as well. I, I don't know. Yeah, that one is the, yeah, this is Lost Island, but this is one thing else I noticed. So that there was a Utah Courage buff, alright? And then this thing has a counter buff to a Utah. Okay? So what I'm guessing is is a Utah can or hopefully in PvP. When you have people raiding their your base and they're buffing their creatures with the Utai, pop one of these bad boys out, scare their creatures. Hopefully you don't get taken down immediately. I'm guessing these things are going to be end game tanks as well. But it looks like it just will scare away the enemy army. Then we got this where it's like a wall and they just approach. I thought this was real funny at the end as well because like they're getting shot at. And all this, and then we finally get the reveal of the resin attack where they encase. But not this, not this. No, I almost completely forgot about this. This looks almost like it self encases itself in resin, and it has like an overshield like the Fenrir. All right, if you guys don't know what the Fenrir is, it is the final boss of Fin Yordor, and when you beat that boss, you get it as quite literally. Um, a plushy version of itself. I, I am not joking. The Fenrir you get is nothing compared to the actual boss. But one of its special abilities is legit. It has an ice over shield. Like that. But now we also get that attack. Where it drops in, Where it looks like what I'm guessing is it's going to have an area effect. And if you're standing in that, you're going to slowly build up this crystallization. And it's also going to slow you down. I'm theorizing this. But as you can see here, we slowly get crystallized. And then the the rider's just off of it here in the next clip. Like I don't think we see him pop off. I I mean we got we got him scurrying away right here. Like that right there is him scurrying away. Okay. And let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's just it's not even him coming off. Oh, we we got it. It looks like he jumps off once it gets stuck, and then it yeah. They just cut it where he's not off of it yet, but it, it looked for a second there. It's like, did they just cut with it out with the guy off of it? But no, he, as you guys can see, he clearly jumped off and did it. They just cut it where you don't see him jump off. But again, then it's just like, yoink, your Rex is mine. And then they just fly off with it. It's just perfect. So that there was the Renegante spotlight. So yeah. I know I haven't been posting anything here in a little bit. Um, I have been working on ARC quite a lot. Uh, I will give you guys a quick teaser here. So as you guys can see, I currently have a juvenile onyx growing. I have a bunch of other creatures going right now. I'm currently working on the over Ovis. Um, I have made a plan here where I have just taken the weaker, the weakest one I had, this one, and I'm going to do a clone of it and then breed it with its clone. What are you? Oh, you're an otter. Are you any good? No, you're not. I've also been trying to breed the otters, but, like, with them right here, they just run off immediately and go in the water. Um, are you what I need? Do you please be what I need? Need, need. Yes, hopefully. So, I'm also trying to get the last color balance for these guys. So, I'm trying to get the color figured out here for the Megalosaurus. And then I was also organizing my cryo fridge, but... Anyways, otherwise, we are actually through the M's and onto the O's in terms of uh, alphabetical order of getting through the creatures. I did take a break there for a little bit. Destiny 2 did have a new season, uh, and it, it called to me. It looks really awesome, especially now that Sloan's back and Titan and all that. But anyways, this is a channel about survival, so I doubt you guys want to see anything on Destiny. But if you do, please let me know. And uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, this has been Gunshy Mori, signing off.